Hello, I'm Grim Grindle, and may the Force be with you. Ever since the Star Wars prequels came out, there's been heated debate as to what order you should watch Star Wars in, with some people claiming you should watch it in order of creation, and others claiming you should watch it in chronological order. Personally, I believe the first time you watch it, you should watch it in order of creation, and then if you're ever revisiting it, or marathoning it, you should watch it in chronological order. But what about those of us that feel like watching seven Star Wars films in a row is simply not enough? What about those of us who want more Star Wars? Well, I've got your back. Over the last few months, I've watched and read every single piece of Star Wars canon I could possibly get my hands on, and I've arranged it in chronological order. So, without any further ado, welcome to A Guide to Star Wars Canon in Chronological Order as of May 4th, 2016. Ever since the Star Wars Extended Universe was reset, the first point in the Star Wars chronology has become Star Wars Episode 1 The Phantom Menace, so begin by watching that. However, as soon as the film finishes, turn off your TV and head down to the local comic book store to pick up the Obi-Wan and Anakin comic book series. However, this comic book series itself is not entirely in chronological order, as most of the issues involved have flashbacks within them, so this list is already about to get a little bit complicated. Firstly, read Obi-Wan and Anakin, Issue 1, pages 10 to 15, then Issue 2, 15 to 19, Issue 3, 6 to 11, Issue 4, 9 to 12. Then you're back to Issue 1, reading pages 1 to 9 and 16 to 19, Issue 2, pages 1 to 15, 20 to 21, Issue 3, pages 1 to 5, 12 to 20, and Issue 4, pages 1 to 8 and 13 to 20. You're now done with the Obi-Wan and Anakin series. Which means it's now time to turn your TV back on and watch Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Once that's finished, get ready to read your first Star Wars novel, Star Wars A New Dawn, but only the prologue. Once you've read the prologue, close the book again and get ready to watch the Star Wars Clone Wars TV series. However, just being able to watch it Season 1-6 to six would be far too easy, and there's no fun in that, is there? So luckily they made the entire show completely out of order for reasons I'm not really fully sure of. Working out what the actual chronological order of the episodes is would be a complete and utter headache. So luckily Disney have prevented us from having to do so, and they've provided an official list of the chronology of the series. So start with Season 2, Episode 16, followed by Season 1, Episode 16, followed by the god-awful movie. Then watch Season 3, Episode 1, and Season 3, Episode 3. Then go back to Season 1, and watch Season 1, Episode 1, through to Season 1, Episode 15. Then jump forward two episodes, and watch Season 1, Episode 17, all the way through to Season 1, Episode 21. Then Season 2, Episode 1, through to Season 2, Episode 3, and then Season 2, Episode 17, through to Season 2, Episode 19. Next up, you're back to the beginning of Season 2, watching Season 2, Episode 4, through to Season 2, Episode 14. And now briefly turn your TV back off and head back down to the comic book store. From the comic book store you want to read Kane in the Last Padawan issue 7 to 10, reading pages 3 onwards from each of them, ignoring the prologues, and then Kane in the Last Padawan issue 11, reading pages 3 to 13. Then back to the television for some more Clone Wars. Starting back with Season 2, Episode 20, through to Season 2, Episode 22, then on to Season 3, Episode 5, through to Season 3, Episode 7, and then continuing with Season 3, watch Episode 2, 4, and 8. And then we're back to The Wayward Son Season 1 for Episode 22. Then back to Season 3 again for Episodes 9 through 11. Then Season 2, Episode 15. Season 3 again, Episode 12 to 22. And then Season 4, Episode 1 to 22. Season 5, Episodes 2 to 13, followed by Episode 1. And then 14 to 20. And then finally, the final Clone Wars season. Season 6, Episode 1, all the way through to Season 6, Episode 13. And you're done. And by done, I of course mean done with the Clone Wars series, not nearly done with the Star Wars chronology. Get out Star Wars The Dark Disciple and read the entire novel. Then read Darth Maul, Son of Dathomir, issues 1 to 4. Once you've finished reading that comic, it's time to get your popcorn and reading glasses ready, because we're up to Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. However, while watching the film, you have to simultaneously be reading Kane in the Last Padawan Issue 1, pages 3 onwards, and Kane in the Last Padawan Issue 2 in its entirety, while also reading Star Wars A New Dawn, page 11. Getting a little bit tricky now, isn't it? 
Once the film is done and the popcorns run out, it's time to go back to reading Kane and the Last Padawan, reading issues 3 to 4 and pages 1 to 19 of issue 5. And then back to your local library for pages 1 to 312 of the book Tarkin, followed by the rest of Star Wars A New Dawn. But hopefully your library has a comic book section, because we're about to skip between book and novel a little bit. As soon as you're finished with A New Dawn, read all by the epilogue of From the Journals of Old Ben Kenobi, The Last of His Breed. Follow this by reading the prologue of my favourite Star Wars book so far, Lost Stars, and then the entirety of Lords of the Sith, followed by the last bit of Tarkin, which is pages 312 to pages 314. And then read the second from the journals of old Ben Kenobi, which is found in Star Wars issue 15. After that, back to the brilliant Lost Stars for chapter 1, followed by Lando issue 1 to 5, and then Battlefront Twilight Company chapter 1. You then get to enjoy another healthy chunk of Lost Stars reading chapter 2 to 6 before it's time to turn your TV back on. Now that it is back on, watch Star Wars Rebels Spark of Rebellion and Star Wars Rebels Season 1 Episode 1 and Episode 2. To make things easy for us, Disney decided to publish a comic book series about Star Wars Rebels that ran between episodes of Star Wars Rebels. So after watching Episode 2, read the comic Ring Race and then watch Episode 3, then the comic Learning Patience, followed by Episode 4, and then the two comics The Fake Jedi and Callus' Hunt, followed by Star Wars Rebels Season 1 Episode 5 and Episode 6. And then we have some more comics, but of a different series. It's time to go back to Kane and the Last Padawan, reading Issue 1, the prologue, then Issue 5, the epilogue, and then the entirety of Issue 6, followed by the prologues of Issues 7 to 11, and then the epilogue of Issue 11, followed by the entirety of Issue 12. And then we're back to the Star Wars Rebels TV series again for Season 1, Episode 7. However, of course, they're still splattering the comics in between, so then read the comic Return of the Slavers, followed by Eyes on the Prize, and then Season 1, Episode 8, followed by the comic Sabotage Supplies, and then Episodes 9 and 10, and then the comics Ezra's Vision, Becoming Hunted, and Assessment. And then, of course, we're straight back to Star Wars Rebels for Season 1, Episode 11 to 13, followed by the two comics Senate Perspective and Ocean Rescue. But then we're jumping back again, but not this time to Star Wars Rebels, but instead to Battlefront Twilight Company for Chapter 7. But then we are back to Star Wars Rebels for Season 2, Episode 1 and Episode 2, and then the comic Secrets of Sienna, and then Star Wars Rebels Season 2, Episode 3 to Season 2, Episode 6, followed by No Sympathy, followed by Episode 7. And then we're almost at the end of jumping back and forwards between the comic and the series, reading A Day's Duty, followed by Star Wars Rebels Season 2 Episode 8, followed by Icebreaker, followed by the rest of Star Wars Rebels. We're now done with Star Wars Rebels, or at least we are until they release a third season. Luckily, there's still plenty more Star Wars to tie us over until that happens though, so open Lost Stars again and read Chapter 7, then close it and open Battlefront Twilight Company and read Chapter 21. And then for a brief break here for some speculation, this is likely where Rogue One, a Star Wars story, will fit. It might fit in a little bit earlier and a little bit after, depending on exactly how far back the story goes, but this is probably where it'll be. However, since that movie's not quite out yet, instead open Lost Stars again and read the first part of Chapter 8, namely pages 145 to 149. And now after all of this, it's finally time to turn your TV back on and watch Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope. However, once more it would be far too easy to just watch the movie. So while you're watching the movie, you must simultaneously be reading Lost Stars, the rest of Chapter 8, and the end of Chapter 9, and Battlefront Twilight Company, Chapter 32. Once you've finished reading those chapters and finished watching Star Wars Episode 4, it's time to turn off the TV and close the books again, and head straight back down to the local comic book store. Once you're there, read issues 1 to 5 of Princess Leia, followed by issues 1 to 5 of Chewbacca, then chapter 10 to 11 of Lost Stars, followed by Weapon of a Jedi, chapters 1 to 13, and then the entirety of Heir to the Jedi. And if your head isn't already spinning too much from going back and forward so much at this point, open up Lost Stars again and read chapters 12 to 14. We're now done with books for a little bit, so get ready for some more comics. Firstly reading Skywalker Strikes parts 1 to 3, followed by Vader part 1, and then straight back to Skywalker Strikes for its fourth part, followed by parts 2 to 4 of Vader, and then back again for Skywalker Strikes part 5 and part 5 of Vader. Continuing this trend, read part 6 of Skywalker Strikes and then part 6 of Vader. And now at this point you can finally put away from the journal of old Ben Kenobi, the last of his breed, because it's time to read the epilogue of that. 
And while you're done with the last of his breed, you're not in fact done with comics yet. So read Showdown on Smuggler's Moons parts 1 to 5, followed by Shadows and Secrets parts 1 to 6, and then Vader Down part 1 to 6, and then straight on to Rebel Jail parts 1 to 2, and then the Shu Toran War, however you pronounce that, parts 1 to 4. And now finally, we have a brief break in the comics, so get out Battlefront Twilight Company and read chapters 2 to 6, followed by chapters 8 to 13. And now hopefully you're a fast reader because it's time to turn the TV back on and watch The Empire Strikes Back. However, while you're watching the film, you must read chapters 15 to 18 of Lost Stars and chapters 14 to 20, 22 to 31, and 33 to 43 of Battlefront Twilight Company. That means once The Empire Strikes Back is finished, you've also now finished off Battlefront Twilight Company. So turn off the TV and put away Twilight Company, but not Lost Stars, and get ready to read Moving Target, A Princess Leia Adventure, Chapters 1 to 23, and Lost Stars, Chapter 19 to partway through Chapter 24, which is in terms of page numbers, page 349 through to page 447. And now once more, it's time to turn on the TV and get ready for a movie, because we're up to Star Wars Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. However, once more, once more, you can't simply watch the movie without reading some books. So while watching Return of the Jedi, read the rest of chapter 24 and partway through chapter 25 of Lost Stars, which is pages 447 through to pages 473, and also read the comic Star Wars Shattered Empire, issue 1, pages 1 to 11. And once you've done that, turn the TV back off and read the prelude to Star Wars Aftermath, followed by the rest of issue 1 of Shattered Empire. And then once again, we have a bit more of a back and forwards, because now you've got to read the rest of Chapter 25 of Lost Stars, followed by issues 2 to 3 of Shattered Empire, followed once again by Chapters 26 to 28 of Lost Stars, and then back again to Shattered Empire for issue 4. And now in the business of finishing things off, read the rest of Star Wars Aftermath, and Chapter 29 of Lost Stars, which will also finish that off. And then read the prologue and epilogue of Weapon of a Jedi, and the prologue and epilogue of Moving Target, finishing both of those off as well. And on to the last comic on the list, read Poe Dameron, issue 1, pages 8 to 11, 1 to 7, and then 12 onwards. And finally, the last book on the list, Before the Awakening, which very suitably comes just before Star Wars The Force Awakens, which brings us to the very end of the current Star Wars chronology. So hopefully that will give you a long enough Star Wars marathon for this May the 4th. And before I go back to me to sign off, just a little bit of housekeeping. I did in fact finish making this list on April 22nd. And since Disney is giving Star Wars the Marvel treatment, I have no doubt that this video will probably be out of date a week after it's published, if not a month, and certainly a year. In fact, it'll probably be outdated before it's even published. So if you're watching this video after May the 4th, 2016, and you notice that there is canon material that's now being published that's not on the list, it's because I was trying to do this list as everything that's currently available. However, that said, it's also well within the realm of possibility that I've missed off of this list things that have already been published. I do intend to make this list sort of a bit of a yearly tradition, so if you think I have missed something, or perhaps if you think I've placed something wrongly in the chronology, put it in the comments and I will take it into account when I make a new version of the list. Thanks for watching. I have been and still am Grim Grendel. For more Star Wars content throughout the month of May, like this video and subscribe to Channel Grim and Grim.